Welcome to the Roundup, True Crime with Mike. Here I give you an update to current cases so you can quickly catch up on today's or this week's happenings on some public cases. I wanted to bring attention to a missing person case, a person who was last seen in my hometown. I will try and do these short episodes highlighting some missing persons. These cases don't usually have a lot of information, but hopefully somebody out there might have some information that can help find them. I wanted to bring attention to a missing boy from Denver and was last seen in Grand Junction in February. Let's listen to a news broadcast. A missing person case in Denver has made its way over to the Western Slope. A boy missing since September. December. All right, December was supposedly seen here in Grand Junction in February. Now his mom is pleading with the Grand Junction community for help. Our reporter Gabriel Gonzalez spoke to the boy's mother and has all the details, Gabe. Yeah, good evening, Kevin and Hannah. Well, this was a hard one. I spoke to a mom in Denver whose pain is visible through the computer screen. She had one plea, and that was to get her son back home. Because I want my son home. We want, we want him home, and it's really hard. A mother's plea for her baby to be back in her arms. 13-year-old Diego Hernandez went missing on December 1st of last year. It was a normal night. It was a normal day and woke up, my husband woke up, and around 4 a.m. noticed that Diego was missing. She says she went to the Denver Police Department, who has put out a $2,000 reward for Diego. After more than two months without answers, a sign of hope. This is a video from the Safeway in the Redlands in Grand Junction. According to his mom, that's Diego. We had seen the video footage of, of Diego, and I'm 100% sure that that's my son right there. Um, he asked a lady for some money. She didn't give him any money, but she bought him some food. And I'm very thankful of that. Uh, the people at Safeway, they offered to get him some food too, and they did. We spoke with the Grand Junction Police Department about protocol when it comes to filing a missing persons report. When you believe someone is missing, the police can't help until they know they're missing. So that's a really important step is you need to file the report and let the police help in the search. As for Diego's mom, she has a message to every parent listening. This can happen to anyone, and it's terrifying not to know if your child is safe, if your child is warm, if your child has ate that day. Just knowing that your child's out there in the world and you don't know, it's heartbreaking. So that video in Safeway was February 23rd, more than two months since he was first reported missing. So it's been almost four months now, and the family is still searching for answers. If you've seen Diego or know, know where he is, you can call the Denver Police Department or 911 or the Missing Exploited Children hotline as well. Kevin Hanna, his 14th birthday is coming up this Friday the 29th. So let's hope that this story does some good. Thank you very much, Gabe. Yep. I will try and put out some of these missing person cases when I hear about them. If you have any information, please reach out to the sheriff's office for the case or get a hold of me and I will work on connecting your information. Thank you for watching this edition of the Roundup.